Welcome back, clever fangirls and fanboys. It's episode 66 of the Electric Fan Cave and ElectricFeast.com, and Wesley Jax is back in the cave, fresh off the plane from Taiwan. We three geeks have got TV, movie, and of course, Chris Pratt news to share with you all. So settle in, gang. Daredevil gets a Punisher. The Simpsons family's getting all shook up by the cast of Girls. Survival love triangles are the worst in Z for Zachariah, and loads more. Plus, I'm about to be on your TV screens. We're going to talk about that, because we can Finally. Why wait? Let's go. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hey, welcome. Team. How's it going? Hi, Wes. Welcome back. Thank you. So nice to be back. Welcome in the to cave. America. Did anyone greet you at the pa- at the what's the place where planes come in? Airport. The airport. airport. With a sign that said "Welcome to America." I on it? wish they did, and I wish. Uh, what would they give you in California instead of like, like a lay? lay what would the California version of a lay be? Lung cancer. Lung an, an, cancer. An In-N-Out burger? An In-N-Out, In-N-Out oh, burger. Oh, that would be delightful. Mm, I'm sorry I didn't I do that. I did not get that. No. The no, worst. instead he bought me Chipotle. I did. It's true. <laughs> With an old gift card that I think is probably at least four years old. Yep. Thanks, oh. Mama Jax, for trying to feed me. It was great. Wow. Hopefully. It yeah. kind of worked. Yeah. Sort of. It worked. But I totally failed as a greeter because I was like in the middle of doing a whole bunch of work. So I was like, how about instead of me picking you up at the airport, you just take a bus all the way to Santa Barbara. That was totally That fun. sounds about right. Yeah. When totally I flew fun. in for your wedding, um, I was staying with the Froberg girls and mm-hmm. they didn't even, or not the girls, I think it was just Katie at that point. And she, was, she didn't even pick me up from the airport. She's like, yeah, it's really easy. You just get on the max. And oh I'm my like, God. okay. And I totally got on the wrong one, of course, uh. because I'm from California and we don't do public transportation. So I was on the wrong one and so I had to get off and it was like this whole thing. And then she didn't take me back to the airport either. In oh. fairness, you don't want to be in a car with Katie Froberg most of the time. I like suppose. it's really for your own safety. I mean, it, yeah. And it was, I mean, I ended up, I ended up being fine, but I remember telling her that story later. She's like, I didn't pick you up from the airport. I was like, no. <laughs> she was like horrified. I'm like, that's you should amazing. be. You're a terrible human. Yeah, that's but, bad hosting. Okay. But bad ho- in fairness, the Portland airport is like 20 minutes away. LAX is like an hour and a half away. Right. So she should have picked me up of yeah. all places. Yeah. Anyway. Katie Froberg, the- check yourself. We're calling you out. Check How yourself, you? woman. Can I just say that her name sounds like uh, a frozen burger? I mean, because like Froyo. <laughs> Is the it does. It's the Froberg. Of frozen yogurt, right? And Froberg oh. is the perfect abri- It's the exact it is. same. It's formula. like when you get White Castle right. from the frozen section, it's a Froberg. That's it. The when fr- um, right. when we moved into oh. our apartment in Oregon, um, our landlord had a hell of a time with our names. And I'll grant you, all of us had like unnecessary like letters and things in, in our names and whatnot. But like, Katie's was arguably the easiest. And he wrote on the lease. Caddy Frostberg. Yes. <laughs> and so ever since oh, then, that's where the caddy that's comes where from. Caddy Frostberg comes from because okay. for whatever reason, on our lease in Oregon, that was what her name said. So mm-hmm. no, words are hard. Words are, are hard, landlord. You know what else is hard? Apparently, hmm. waving. Waving is hard. <laughs> oh my you god. Guys. I don't know if you've seen this yet or not, but Corey's going to be famous, and she's oh, going to be man. on TV, and not just any TV. Sci-fi, which sci-fi. I think is pretty that's a, big deal. This is kind like of a real time. thing. Yeah, this isn't like UPN. I don't even know if that's a channel anymore. <laughs> no, that's CW <laughs> now. But <laughs> whoa, eight whoa, years hey. ago, Way UPN. To hey, back, though that was nice. Jeez. I like yeah. that. <laughs> that was good. Well, actually, I was scrolling through the channel the other day, and Moesha was on, and I was like, "What? Mo to the e to the." <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anyway, the point of this story was something. Sci-fi. Oh yeah, you're gonna be on TV. Yeah. But, he, but you wave like this. Okay, it's What's more like Are this. Are you trying to see an alien? I don't. Or? I was nervous. Okay, <laughs> oh, you try standing in front of Zachary Levi and having him say oh your gosh. name and I not being like, <laughs> "Hi." I probably would have been staring at him like this. So I wouldn't have said anything more likely. Yeah, just like, "Hi, you're pretty. Uh, you're so pretty and moment. funny and cute." Yeah. Do you remember the moment where it came in? Were you trying to wave to somebody, or was it just sort of like a? <laughs> no, it was. Uh, so What's... what we're discussing here is that the trailer for yeah. this show came out. Sorry. It's called Geeks Who Drink on Sci-Fi. Yes. Um, and they have this trailer that's like 15 seconds long or whatever um, of clips. 
And there's a point in it where they show me and I do this ridiculous wave that we're discussing. Like waving has been like literally a lifelong struggle for me. When I was a kid, notably, I used to wave like backwards no. because I thought like like that was what I saw when people waved at me was that the palm of their hand. And so that's what I thought waving was. Um and so waving oh. has just always been a problem. And so when this was, we, you know, get up and like they call the team up. They're like, on a bender, which is the name of our team, because John DiMaggio was our team captain who plays the voice of Bender on Futurama. And so we go up there and he's introducing the teams and he's like, Corrigan. And I like turn to the audience to wave. And instead of like giving, it- this is why they teach Miss Americas to do like Barbie hands. Because they don't want you to go, yeah. Miss California. Hey. <laughs> guys <laughs> floppy hands what do i do with these guys i have Burr. jello on my wrist <laughs> what are these yeah what do was, i do with my hands you would think it was the first time i'd interacted with humans before it's just um, yeah, it looks like it's the first time you interacted it with looked humans. like they were about to give you a tray to take out to someone <laughs> they were like, Ready to serve everyone. I mean, someone of, said like, oh, i look like that a, just the help so yeah for showing up someone We're said i look like that emoji drink. that does that oh like, the lady who doesn't give any I don't. Everyone interprets oh. that differently. I always see it as someone who's waiting to have a tray on her hand. But someone said sassy or emoji, informa- information information deskly, which is like yeah. ridiculous because I've never been to an information desk where they're like, hmm, unless Can she's I holding the information desk in her hand, like yeah. is that what this is for? This is exactly what I have I to offer you, which is nothing. <laughs> Please take nothing as information. <laughs> I think that about sums it up. So yeah, oh, I, I wave like an idiot. But you guys, this was like a, I'm so glad that finally this Amazing. is out and about and I can like say something about it because they were like, you can't say the name of the show. You can't say who hosted it. You can't say you played with on a team with this celebrity or anything like that. And I'm like, oh, but I want to but so I want to do all those I things. Tell you been waiting? Everybody. It's been a while. It's been a month. Oh, wow. It hasn't been, been a month. Long. Oh, it's been a month. Really? It seems like it's been a long time. It's it a long time feels... to sit on that. Yeah, that's a long time for secrets like that. When especially for someone like me who's always on like Facebook and Twitter and things like that to like True. not. I mean, I told everybody I see in real life. They said that was okay, just not on social media. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you you was okay. Yeah. I was like, because I, I feel like you've told people because I knew. But no, that's probably yeah. why we were all hanging out with yeah. like Jerry and stuff. Exactly. That's exciting. That. But it's, it's gonna be good. July thirty first. Seven sci fi. It's also a great so, well, name for a show, by the way. Yeah. It's on the seventeenth. Well, it uh, premieres the 16th oh, or 17th or something like that. I don't know when my episode's on, though. There's no... Oh, oh, I thought... Okay, well, don't listen to me. I don't know anything. Yeah. It's on Sci-Fi in July, maybe. We don't know. Yeah, at we'll, some we'll point. We'll be back in well, touch. We'll, we'll let them know. Well, yeah, we'll keep we in touch and let you know. And you can watch me be ridiculous on it. There's a couple things I'm already embarrassed about on it, like a question that our entire team missed that, I, that like, afterwards we're like, what in the world is wrong with us? And um, also there's like a challenge thing in it that like I just like lost the ability to like think. Oh, no. But I mean, it was, it's fine, you know, whatever. But I just like I just stood there the whole time. I was like, I am of no use to you as a team. Oh, that's OK. But no, but it, was, happens. it was really that fun. happens to me sometimes when people want you to do that game where you have to like name seven or seven things in 11 seconds. And it's like right, and name like, seven toothpaste. And I'm like, oh. I don't know oh, any. God, I don't brush my teeth. Yeah. Like, that's not it. Yeah. You know, and it's like, you know what the exactly. answers are. It's just right. the pressure and everyone's looking at you and it's a time crunch. Yeah. And... Yeah. Exactly. But it was, it was yeah. super fun. And I got to like, like, there's just like cool things that happened. It was like a super chill sort of set. And it was like, you didn't really have a chance to ever be nervous while yeah. nice. being there. Cause it was just like, move, move, move. Like I got in, they sent a car to get me. I come down, they're like, hop in the makeup chair. And then I hopped in the makeup Wait chair. Wait a second. They didn't make leg. you take the bus? They didn't make me take the bus wow, all the way to L.A. that was really nice I of them. Know. Very it considerate. Was, so they drove from impressive. L.A. to Santa Barbara and back. And back. And you wouldn't even what? do that. To I know, and I wouldn't do that for airport. Wes. This right. is, well, Wes, if you were the talent in this office. <laughs> I was more disappointed that there wasn't a makeup chair when I got here. That yeah. was actually <laughs> more disappointing to me. I'm glad you say that because I have plans. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, it was like you're just like on the move and everything and then they like like they didn't even get a chance to like put my hair up before they shoved me out on the set for like all this other stuff and they brought me in, they did everything up and then they put me back out on the set again. It was like, "Go, go, go." And then it was like, "I'm standing there." And then like Zachary Levi walks up and he's like, "Hi, you're Corgan. I'm Zachary." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> 
hey. <laughs> You know, hey. yeah, and like David the- Juntoli walks up, and I'm like, "You're David Juntoli, and your eyes are the prettiest." And Aww. I didn't say that. And then John DiMaggio, but they let you drink, right? That also yeah, helps. and then they yeah. let you. Was drink. it real alcohol? It was real. They asked in the like huh. audition process, like, "What drink do you like?" I was like, "I like Dark and Stormies." And so, like, we get there, and there's like drinks, all our names on them, and oh. then like throughout the game, it's like during breaks essentially if you want more you're like bring me another one of those and someone comes and bring you one i only had two my teammates had a lot right um so it was sounds like magical heavenland they bring you they send you in a car they put makeup on you and they just bring you drinks and right and you you just chill with zachary levi and you you know show people you admire and play games Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, that does sound. I mean, other than the being on TV part, which I wouldn't know if I would. Enjoy yeah, I'm not so sure. Much, I'm not but... sure how into that. I, I like am, seeing you on there more. You would rock it's it, good. Kristen. You yeah. would rock the TV. I don't know, cause I get nervous when people talk to me in social <laughs> situations. <laughs> Ugh. It's not really a social I mean, situation. I mean, you, know, you do great. There's people there. I mean, your wave. I'm making fun of you, but I legit probably would have been like. Mark. <laughs> like, probably would have like you know those goats who like freeze and fall over. I feel like that would have happened to me. Oh my I don't know. gosh! And then I you mean, would I go took down in TV history for non-majors, but what? <laughs> you would go down in TV history. I know. You'd be like, oh, that would be terrible. I don't want to end up on that British show where they talk about the funny things that happen. I don't want to be a. Is Fenton, that a real thing? Or are you just referencing Moon Boy? No, I, I don't know. I don't want to be a Fenton. <laughs> oh, like on Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Yeah, I don't want to be that. Where they yeah. recap all the dummies. I don't want to be on that show. Okay, that's fair. I get anyway. It. I love that show, though. It's a it was great pretty show. Good. I know. Oh, man. It's one of my faves. It's pretty funny. Anyway, so that's happening. That's exciting, you guys. Yeah. So we'll let you know Keep eventually whenever when that's happening. Mm-hmm. We don't know. When it's for real. For the record, I, I made one television appearance on local news when I was a young kid <gasps> because... Uh, Are you the I Like Turtles kid? No. <laughs> that would be amazing. I was on a, a thing called a spelling bowl. It wasn't a spelling bee. It was spell bowl, which was you were on a team of spellers, and you your team scored. Anyway, they were interviewing this for the uh, for the local news, and they asked me to spell the hardest word that I'd come across, and I misspelled it on television. They, like, and one course, moment. It, the word, you only get way, one shot. Do not miss your chance, miss to, chance to blow. Spelling ever- bowl. Spelling bowl, bowl spelling is opportunity. You'll appreciate mm. this too because my my notorious ability to pronounce French words is amazing. <laughs> so um, and so I was trying to spell the word bourgeoisie and I misspelled it on television as a young person. So if you ever get on TV, just you know you'll do better than just, me, Kristen. You'll, yeah. you'll I'll just say me. ask me to spell bourgeoisie. bourgeoisie. You'll kill it. Also, it was like it was middle school, so it was like really awkward oh. age. It just was. Yeah. I'm sure if I watched it now, it would be a train wreck of misery <laughs> and disgustingness. But so if someone has a tape of that out there, anybody, people in Indiana, WLFI, Lafayette, Channel 18, anybody out there, you know, mm-hmm. we need to see so this. You can get through the archives. Yeah, because we've also found our friend Danny from our program on Cash. Cash cab as well. Uh, so, you know, I think we should just be starting like an archive of everyone we know in their awkward huh. TV story. Well, I think we still have that one clip when I was on that weird Sky News thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we have that too. She went Forgot. to uh, the first show of James Corden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and she was on Sky News and she thought it was like a nothing little. She's like, I'm on some this. random thing. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's Sky freaking news, Kristen. It's cool. Yeah. The oh, CNN. Yeah. I'm of like too cool else. for Sky News. You're I don't cool care. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. British media, cool. come on. This is the fan cave. We're a little big for that kind of thing. We do <laughs> sci fi channel, not I mean, come sky on. News. <laughs> yeah, we're on the Seriously. one of us is on the sci fi channel. The other one is not. <laughs> yes. Although I was a local when I was in eighth grade, that reminded me when I was in eighth grade, I was a local um T V personality. I did the news for my middle school. Yeah. Oh, Amazing. Forgot nice. about that. You know, I did do that. You read like with... the updates for like what was going on in the day. And well, no, today's we did, like, hot lunch. So is... we had like a yes. local Channel Three News in Laverne, where I grew mm. up. And so then our middle school on ASB, there's four of us in this committee, and we did news about what was happening at our middle school. And yeah. so we each had to like write a story and report on it. Wow. So it's like, oh, the volleyball yeah. team did really great this week, you know. And then we'd like talk about the volleyball team or whatever the story was we chose. It was like so lame. Yeah. <laughs> See, this all makes sense now. Why, you know, when I asked Kristen to do the fan cave many moons ago. She was like, yeah, sure, this is awesome. You had, <laughs> you had a precedent had for experience. it. Yeah. Yeah. Which, had experience. Yeah. Whereas, like, when I tried to even get, like, Brianne to even think about appearing on it, she's like, no, it's not <laughs> happening. You had, oh, you man. were in show business from a very early age. I know, you were, it's true, I mean. The I was Calimento basically like a dance kid. 
Who's Joan Kellum? Oh, Joan Kellum Ezzo from Parks, Parks and Rec. <laughs> oh, I hope not. <laughs> I love her. Like that one where she's totally wait, like totally hungover and sleeping, and Ron's doing the whole show. <laughs> First of all, if you have a dog that's under sixty pounds, it's a cat. Cats are pointless. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. You're way more together than Joan Kellum Ezzo. I just wanted but give to give it twenty in, years. We'll see. I just wanted to drop in some Parks and Rec thing because in my in my mind I was playing around with a, a Laverne and Shirley joke, but it didn't really work, didn't and so out. I just I went with Joan Kellum Ezzo. I said that was smart. That's good. Smarter. Glad we got to Smart. see the whole the whole long road to that thought. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> That's good. it was long. I'm actually still not sure how we got there, but I'm just <laughs> nodding and smiling. So yeah. So uh, what other? Wait, we got other you don't know what other time things. it is, right? Yeah. Other who knows? Things. things. What do we have? Uh, Daredevil casting news that oh I think my we're both pretty excited so about. Excited. Have you no. watched this yet? Liz? I have. I have watched uh, the first episode. Of Darede- so I've been in a place that has no Netflix for the last six and a half months. So, so I'm sad. catching up on Unbreakable Kimmy Smith and Daredevil. All these things are starting okay. to come back That's in my really world. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, I did watch the first episode. Great opening. I've read lots about the show, of course. But um, you guys are more excited about this than me because I have not gotten that far. But you, do you watch Walking Dead, or did you ever watch Walking Dead? I did not. I did okay. not walk with the dead. I did not do that. <sighs> Dad jokes. I'm sorry. Uh, did you watch The Pacific? Seen, uh, oh, you watch Band of Brothers. Yeah. You're not no. Okay, well, you're, you're killing me. This is why I said you guys are more excited about this. <laughs> I'm gracefully exiting. I'm like, and also, we're one, gonna lean back now. one degree away from John Barenthal. We are. We are one degree. This is like two. Oh, wait. I was about to say, this is two weeks in a row that we've realized that we're one degree of separation from people, except that this is actually one week in a row because that was over Facebook, not the fan cave that we talked about this. Right, that's okay. Uh, but sometimes it was confusing. But. Yeah, this is true. Um, John Bernthal is cast as Punisher uh-huh. in Daredevil. And I, here's, my reasons for liking John Bernthal so much are, are twofold. Um, one is that I just think he's great as an actor. Um, you know, when you, and he was in a Mob City and so forth. So one of our, one of our one degrees between us and him is uh, John Polono, who we interviewed uh, a couple months back who is a delight and you should go back and revisit that episode if you have not actually heard it um but uh yeah so they were in mob city together and he's just great and like he always plays this like very sort of rough dudes though right and so my other reason is that in real life from like when you watch him in interviews and the way john polono was talking about him and everything he's like right. the biggest sweetheart on the planet and he's just like super nerdy overexcited puppy dog of a human being yeah. and i just i love that total incongruity between like who he plays and who he is because yeah. you hate him on walking dead i mean in that season he happens and- to be in the part that i actually watched of that show um, and he's, he's I was like, I thought you were, didn't do zombie shows. I don't do zombies, but I watched the first season and like f- four episodes of the second season of that show before okay. I was like, this is this is a zombie show. I think I'm done watching it. <laughs> it took yep. a season. It and took four, a season so, and a half. So. <laughs> wow, wait, wait. nothing ah, gets past you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, you're trying to pull a fast oh, one, God. AMC. AMC. Well, I see what you're no, doing. You here. won't fool this girl. <laughs> No, uh, gotta wake up pretty early in the morning. Uh, but anyways, uh, but yeah, I just, I like him a lot and, um, I, I think he's well suited to Daredevil and it's time. I do too. Yeah, and I'm I like, just... if anyone's going to take over from, uh, Wilson Fisk, I mean, not Wilson Fisk, I mean, that was his name, but, yes. um, Vincent D'Onofrio, D'Onofrio. Thank D'Onofrio. you. This, I think, is going to be a good follow-up for a bad, for, like, the bad guy of the yeah. season. I just, I'm excited. Well, it's I interesting it's that he's also kind of a slash, he's a bad slash good guy. He's right, exactly. He's good, so it, it'll add more moral yeah. quandaries. Mm-hmm. And Which they, they, I know, and they did the same, well, I don't want to give it away. You haven't watched it. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah. there's a lot. Sorry. There's a lot. Oh, coming. there's so many sides. <laughs> Multitudes. <laughs> We're just so excited you for you, Wes. You ruin things for me because no. it's been too No, long I don't. Like, no. Because it'll be so game. much better for you to experience it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be sitting just, there, just it's like gonna be so great. watching you watch you. it. Just like, so comfortable. What do you I think? Can't wait. Yeah. What do you think? It's good. This part's really good. I like the. And part. just tap, tap, tap him. Yeah. Pay attention. Pay attention. Right here. Oh, you like this part? You don't want to miss this. Wait, he's blind. This is a blind person <laughs> show. I'm only seven episodes in, and I figured out it's about blind. No. Well, I don't watch shows about blind people. So forget this. Obviously. Uh, yeah. So, but that casting news happened. And also, wait, what was the other, oh, that they were considering Jason Statham for, for, uh, shot guy, dead shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Not wait, Deadshot. bullseye. Crossbones, bullseye, oh. bullseye. That's it. 
Just say just words. Putting, it's just putting words, like two words Archer, together and hoping one's going to stick. It's a villain. All those people Watch are villains. List. That's true. They are, you know, they exist bullseye. as villains. But... Deadshot, bullseye, bullseye, deadshot. Bullseye. Um, yes. I'm less enthusiastic about this. And here's why. I like Jason Statham. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know if he fits Daredevil. And I think it's just too easy to be like, we need a villain. Put Jason Statham in there. He's like a hardcore guy. Bald. He does look very he much the part. The... Yeah, and, he uh, does look yeah. the part. I will say, this is my small two cents. I don't think either of you have seen it. Have you seen Spy, Kristen? Oh, not no, yet. I haven't, okay, but I want so, to. Uh, I, it came out multiple weeks ago in Taiwan, so I saw it a while back. But he is very funny in Spy. Well, yeah. I and he's really... like, if you think of like Snatch and stuff like that, like yes. he, he is a but funny guy. But this is the first time he's done a real comedy since mm-hmm. that, those two films. And so like he's quite funny in this, playing a parody of himself and his own kind of roles nice. in yeah. action films. Highly recommended. For a multitude of reasons, Spy is very, very good. But he's it's got also like a ninety-five percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It does. Like it is is being people quite, legit quite like, like it. I mean, none of those surprise movies where everyone's like, ah, eh, maybe, yeah. and then it'll end up being like actually turned out to be pretty yeah. good. You know? I think it's unfortunate that I just feel like a lot of people won't see it because of like Tammy. It was like number one though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, when it, it made came like out, thirty-five it, million. It was sort of a soft number one, but it, it's still. <laughs> yeah. Well, made... I guess number one of the new movies that weekend, yeah, and right. it came out against Entourage. I read in it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so that's their competition, Entourage. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, nobody dude wants movie to see a girl movie. So yeah. that's not that's even saying. a dude movie versus a girl movie. That's like a douchebag movie versus a girls and people who like you know. Fun. Funny yeah, things fun. like happiness. People who like happy. And people who aren't douchey. Mm-hmm. A yes. douchebag movie versus a non douchebag movie. I prefer the non douchebag movie. Yeah. If Word. You're this is Anne Helen actually wrote a pretty good piece about yeah. this entourage. I know, I know. Yeah. But her piece about entourage is one of the better ones that she's written in a while. Um I actually kinda she's recommend smart. it. She's so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really fast dismissal. I was like, "Whoa!" Okay. There's it's a lot fun. of there's a lot of. I know. There's a back. I don't want to. I know. Whatever. I know. We don't, we don't need to go. go. We, we don't need to go there. To go there. Anyways, what else is happening <laughs> in TV? Uh, Marge and Homer are <sighs> splitting up. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I feel like at this point, really, <laughs> you I, put up with so much. Just I think the thing that it. bothers me the most about this is for Lena Dunham. This well, not just, really Lena Dunham as a person. Just well, right, but right. as, like, her as a character. I'm just, like, Lena Dunham, every time she's in something, it's, like, her playing a cameo of Lena Dunham. Like, even when she was in oh. The Good Wife, it was, like, this is very, she's not playing Lena Dunham, but it's very clear that she's, like, Lena Dunham, like, oh, my God, I'm acting! What? <laughs> like, this is crazy! I legit never seen her in anything. I think she was in that Taylor Swift music video. Oh, yeah, she was. In- and so I think that's probably what I've seen her in. Yeah, I just, I don't like her on basically any level. No, oh, well. Um, yeah. And I don't watch The Simpsons, so let's, like, I have zero input on this. Okay. Well, oh. The Simpsons, I love The Simpsons still to this day. I mean, I don't watch it every week, but <laughs> usually I eventually catch up and I end up seeing, like, most of them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's just. I remember, I remember the, we were both talking about the, the time this happened before, which was quite early in The Simpsons, where he falls for a country singer. Who's, is, is she voiced by Dolly Parton? Is that right? No, was it Dolly Parton? I can't somebody... remember who does her voice. No. Anyways, her name was Laureline. Her name is Laureline, and she's like this very sweet country singer who has a giant crush on Homer. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of a... She writes songs about him. She does. It's kind of a ridiculous but endearing plot line. Mm-hmm. And I have no... I, I kind of read this one, and it doesn't seem quite to have the same yeah. spark. But that's that's the story of The Simpsons, yeah. generally, which is to redo stuff that's already been kind of done. Yeah, because they also just announced like that now um, uh, Sideshow Bob is going to kill Bart. Oh, Mm-hmm. But it's okay. Treehouse well, of Kill or in like it's Treehouse of Horror. Right. So in Treehouse of Horror, people die all the White time, and then slate. it's you know they're fine afterwards. Yeah. So, oh, okay. You know, it's just finally Sideshow Bob is going to get his chance. But I am confused as to why like The Simpsons right now is releasing all this like random information. I'm like, are they worried because of the whole debacle last month with yeah, uh, Harry Shearer? Harry Shearer that like people are going to be like, oh well, peace out. It's like if people are yeah. still watching The Simpsons, they're still watching The Simpsons. Yeah. Anybody who's and if they're not, they're not. 27 years later, mm-hmm. it's still going to You're kind of around. in. You're I mean, I really stuck with Wintry Hill for nine years, so if people are 27 years with The Simpsons, yeah. they're going to keep going. You're going to, yeah. You, you know? just got to. Nothing yeah. is going to now deter you, I feel like. Exactly. You're, it's like you're in it to win it. Yeah. So it's just, it's baffling to me that they keep on putting out all these random little tidbits. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Or cool. people could just watch it. And then you can put it in the news afterwards, like yeah. you usually do. Like, like they're like every gags. other show ever. Yeah, exactly. They wouldn't let you talk about who was the host of a Geeks Who Drink sci-fi show. Right. People. I mean, 
That was produced by Zachary like, Levi. Yeah, it's like, hey, be really <laughs> hush hush about this. But the Simpsons are like, eh, Marge and Homer are gonna split up. Yeah, okay. Bart's gonna die. You're like, yeah. what is going on? Okay. What if they really killed him, like Maud or something? That would be intense. That would be crazy. I don't think anybody would accept that. No, I don't think so either. I think then maybe you would actually lose people. Yeah, that would that would do it. I don't know. But that one episode would have a lot of viewers. It would. True. It's true. I will say that much. Uh, what else yeah. is happening? Um, TV wise or just movie wise, we can move on. Oh, to are some we done with stuff. TV? Have we? That was the only. Uh, I think oh, so. Good. Unless we want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Or unless we want. Yeah. 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 Those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, see. Yeah. yeah. Short circuiting. Hey. Oh man, someone spilled coffee on my control board. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It was weird. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there for our transition whenever we need it. Yeah. Whenever there's a weird things go off the rails. Thing. Yeah. We'll just information desk with it. Um, Mockingjay Part Two trailer teaser mm. came out, which I thought was a pretty good teaser for I'm having trouble with three my fingers. fingers. Yeah. Three fingers. It's kind of the Boy That's Scouts Honor thing, right? It is. Sort of, yeah. I guess but yeah. more intense. Yeah. Yeah. But not quite as squeaky clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I don't know, it looks, actually looks pretty good. And I think yeah. we've talked about it before on this show that Mocking Jay, not the best of the series. <laughs> it was kind of boring. Yeah, the book. Because I was like, I think the movie right. I really. No, 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 no. Of yeah. the, bo- of the, the books. books. It yeah. wasn't our favorite. So we were a little bit worried about how the movies were going to turn out. And the mm-hmm. part one was good and it managed to make it some of the boring parts not boring mm-hmm. slash cut out the boring parts and so you, i'm excited for part two it looks pretty good yeah and plus we had our song which i mm-hmm. legit put on repeat sometimes in my room and just sit there and listen to it because okay. you know yeah there's no more dashboard songs but it's so good yeah this trailer i'm i'm super into it and yeah. i like that there's there's a good amount of finnick in ah, it because finnick. <laughs> Finnick, Finnick, he's wearing Finnick. a shirt though. Oh, so time. good. Do you see he's wearing wedding... his shirt? Yeah, yeah. That is that is a it's lost a loss, opportunity. Right? It really is. Um, yeah, yeah, the wedding. The wedding. It looks so pretty in there, Very and I just think it looks designed. nice. Yeah, yeah. The set design for that looks really nice. It's really design. cool. I just feel like a little bright spot in this darkness, and I already liked the, that poster they had released with. Um, they had like smashed the statue of President Snow, and like mm-hmm. head was like lying on the floor, yeah. and they had painted the red. I was like, yes, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> This is a very um, angry trailer. Yeah, it looks suitably epic mm-hmm. and intense, which is yes. what you want to go for for the finale of the series, I think. Which is yeah. Good. So let's just hope they don't cop out the way the book did and that we get to see it for all its epicness. And that's really kind of have hope. to. I mean, yeah. yeah, I would think. Just like what they did in the first one, because remember you kept saying like, oh, there was revolts. We're hearing all of all these stories. And you're like, okay, so boring. Or you don't see anything. And so the first movie took you there. Yeah. Put you in the middle of it and showed you, you know, what they were doing. So I think it's they're going to. It just kind of follows, like, as far as movies go, they can't just sit there and, like, be like, okay, and then this happened. And you're like, this is the worst. I yeah. could have, it's like a book on tape, you know? <laughs> That's so. true. There's really no way to do what they did in the book right. except a terrible fade to black or something like that. Yeah. Which is essentially how I imagine that. Just weird happened. voiceover or some of them. Yeah. <laughs> it would be the worst if it fades to black and it's just like, <laughs> Jennifer noises. Lawrence yeah. talks for a while. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Here's a mop so let me fill you in. <laughs> this is what's Dear diary. Oh <laughs> gosh. No. No, don't do that to us Hunger Games. It, I'm looking forward don't to it. That. It looks fun. Is it November yes. that this comes out again? I yeah. It's around, Same yeah. I think it's their yeah. normal right yeah. before Thanksgiving or whatever. Yeah. 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 I appreciate yeah. that that they space them like that. Just, you know, your November's are Hunger Games time. I guess, but I liked Harry Potter did a July November dealio, which I enjoyed. That's true. For but their then part didn't two. they for like the last one it was like a year and a half? No, it was eight months. Was it? I yeah. thought with one of those that... Uh, That's why, I, no, everyone's complaining about this one because it was a whole year before the next mm. one came out. There were these really long gaps where it's like Harry Potter was like, man, we're releasing it, and then we're going to do it in summer. Yeah. And you're like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. So, anyway. Well, now I suddenly feel like it's inadequate when I was okay with it a, year, a few minutes yeah. ago. So I've thanks never for that. Favorite. I appreciate that. <laughs> thanks. Um, watch the Mockingjay trailer. It's, it's, a, it's a good one. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. And then, also another good one. Oh, so you want to go? No, I was, that was my excitement face. Like, oh. Oh. Okay, oh. other one is Interstellar 2. <laughs> Yay! I know. Starring the people Just from good. Interstellar. <laughs> yeah. In but in a better movie. But in I a hope. happier movie. In a happier movie. Um, so it's, anyway, I mean, it's, it's not a, actually based on a book, technically. Yeah. yeah. Have, have you read know? it? I have not read it. Have you, you read it? 
No, but I didn't even know it was a book, but now I kind of want to read it because it looks mm-hmm. awesome. Okay. Yeah, it was suggested that it could be a book club book as well. So oh, better get on it. When is this coming out? Also the winter That's a good sometime, question. I suspect. Is it the okay. winter? I think okay. so. Yeah. yeah, so we have time. We have time to read that. Um, yeah, it's Matt Damon, um, Lost Jess in Damon. Space, much like his Interstellar character. I told Kristen this is like it's um, someone's fanfic of if Matt Damon's character didn't turn out to be a dick in Interstellar. There you go. <laughs> I was like, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Because he's like stranded out there and, you yeah. know, he's on his own. He's and like hilarious. People are coming to know, rescue it's... him. Yeah. And he's oh, so good. He's quippy. He's very which quippy. Which is fun. Yeah, uh, he, that first one, he's like, there's only one thing to do. And I'm like, what is there to do? And then <laughs> science out of this. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Yeah. It's so yeah. good. And then he's like, suck it, Neil Armstrong. I'm like, okay. Oh. And then you've got like, like, I was like, what did Neil do to that's you, exactly, He goes, yeah, what exactly. did Neil ever do to you? <laughs> I was like, come on, he was a pioneer, and yeah. you know, it's good for him. And, but yeah, no, I like that he's, gets, he's got a good attitude about it, too. Mm-hmm. I like that it's not just like, now I will suffer my way through this, but it's like, mm-hmm. I'm going to be smart and resourceful and quippy. and. I hope he it. dances at some point. Right. If I were in space by Look, myself, that's... I would dance. I would oh, definitely yeah. They would be dancing everywhere. I'd be like Hugh Grant in Love Actually, just like all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Jump. Yes, what Bone we could do, we could love. move that minister to, li- I just love that part when they catch them. <laughs> he's like, so good. Because he's got the thing on, then he's like, yeah, yeah. all right. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, so good. I love that's that part. Classic. That's classic. So that's what I would awesome. do if I were Matt Damon in space. Mm. I feel like after he gets that little leafy thing, he must do a little bit of a. Wouldn't you? I would. I mean, I would. Yeah. Totally would. It looks adorable. And then it's like got these random things like Kristen Wig is in it. But I love that in the yeah. trailer, all you see is her twice go. Yeah, like what is like, she what is sorry, her role? For those here? listening, I'm just acting things out. She just sort of looks up <laughs> yeah. into the air with her hands on her face, looking she very troubled. And like it's twice in the trailer. The only times you see her, that's what she's doing. I'm like, I don't Yeah. Is that just what she does? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe well, she's a statue is, I mean, of Kristen Wig. Her um Kate Mara. Um Yeah. Well, no, wait, but it's her and the guy from Community. Yeah, oh, Donald Glover. Glover. And yeah. they all just, they all have that very same concerned look the yeah. entire time. Every time you see them, they're all, Kate Mara, you're actually right, too. She also looks very concerned. Yeah. Yeah. They all kind of have but the Kate same. But Kate Mara always looks concerned. It's weird, like, the comedian's looking concerned. Just like, oh, That's yeah. true. what's happening? Yeah. But I also like that the plot is partially like, you know, the team goes rogue to go rescue yeah. him. I like mm-hmm. that sort of idea, too. I like that, too. Me, too. Nice. Yeah, uh, she's going through all the things like if we do this, we you know I'm like ah, but they're gonna do it. And I liked the opening part where he's talking about mankind, like always, yeah, coming, always trying like, to help each other out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, no movie ever says that. Nobody is ever trying to say that our instinct is to be good to each other. Yeah, so know? I like that. I like that. I, like that. I think we've yeah. had that before. Of like, just be kind. Yeah. And this is, I feel like this movie is pushing that. It feels Lindelof esque. Oh, <laughs> that's that's an adjective that some people will love and others will. I love my Damon Lindelof movies, but I actually don't know who wrote this one, so I'm not. But you know, it sounds like something he'd write. Anyways, it's based I'm, on the book, right? So it's yeah. Not... yeah, it's a it's a book. So I I don't know anything about the book. I don't know when it came out. I don't like. I, I think it's a relatively new book, but this is really only a half a good story for you people listening because we only know, as per usual, some of the information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're gonna we make do. it up. Well, maybe Lindelof. 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 Yes. Something Darren like Lindelof. Maybe yes. Guggenheim wrote it. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Possibly J.K. Rowling under a pen name. <laughs> what if it that was true? <laughs> oh. Casual Vacancy on Mars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? The sequel. Casual Vacancy on Mars does sound like a great... Like, not like her actual book on Mars, but doesn't Casual Vacancy on Mars sound like a great book title? It right. just kind of a little bit. It's but... like, like I imagine it's kind of like the restaurant at the end of the universe. It's like, just like a hotel yeah. on Mars. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's place. like this is what happens when they rescue Matt Damon and he realizes you can grow food there. And he's like, don't worry, we're going to open a B&B gonna, B&B on Mars. <laughs> it's going to go called a casual week. Douglas Adams, <laughs> Douglas Adams would have written that as his next novel. Right? Like, that would have been. Ah, really... true. Oh, true. Man. Anyway. Uh, another just reason. Up things that we wish happened. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I, have, I have a lot of hopes and dreams for imaginary Douglas Adams. I'll just add that to the list. You already did so much for us, Douglas. He did. Now he gave you, us a lot. You know. um, <laughs> and now a Dirk Gently Holistic Detective Agency comic book, which is exciting for me. So, anyone who's a, who's a Douglas Adams fan out there, that exists. What? Which is awesome. Yeah. The Martian. The Martian. And it um, looks like Interstellar, but it's not. But it's even not. though the cast is the same. 
Well, two people in the cast yeah. are the same. It's, it's important people, though. Yeah. True. <laughs> two of the mainish people. Yeah. Not the really. I don't have a bad name. Anyway, in besides space. the point. In other news of movies that were from books, and this one we actually do have some thought processes on because we'll know that this one <laughs> this is a I terrible honestly intro. don't even know what she's great. talking about. That's great. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Does it have Zed in it? Yeah. Zed. Okay, here's the thing. The other one we're going to talk about is Z for Zachariah. And oh. I have read this book. And I can tell you that this is not how it goes down. Oh. Oh, really? It's not? Yeah. Okay. This, there is, there's no love triangle. Oh. She's like, she's like a kid, like 16 oh, in the so book. Oh, so they're Tuck Everlasting it. So what they're doing is they're, they're trying to make it saucy. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I actually don't even remember this Caleb character being a thing. That's oh. the Chris I, Pine character? Yeah. yeah, so what happens is a guy arri- in the book, a guy arrives. Now, this is a little rusty because I haven't read it in sure, a little sure. bit. but And everyone is expecting arrives. accuracy from you, Laddie. I know, right? There's a guy that comes and, like, they get, you know, he gets sick. She kind of helps him. But then he ends up being sketchy and it turns into, like, uh, she has to, like, hide in the woods, sort oh. of. And it is, like, a kind of a battle between them. And it's, like, tense more than I would say, like, an action-y movie. Right. right. And honestly, Which I feel is. like it would be kind of a boring film. <laughs> okay. So maybe that's why they're trying to add this other guy in there to make mm-hmm. it. But to me, I'm just, I don't even want to see this. <laughs> really? Oh. See, okay, with no prior knowledge, yeah. I'm like, dude, this looks kind of bananas, and I'm interested in it. I, I will say that seeing it, I was like, I don't want there. Like, it would be better without the love triangle, yeah. I think. That's, like, the one thing where you're like, come on. But... I don't know. I felt like there was some sort of thing in there where you almost thought like they were going to somehow team up and she was going to be like in some way in danger from both of them. Yeah. But I mean, I that would have been be, cooler. Yeah. That I also think honestly, like if there's three of them and they know they're the only three, like just like just hang she, out. She's got you know? two husbands. That's right. Like, like it's fine. Gold mine. Man. That was totally what I was thinking. I'm like, if it is like some sort of end of the world situation and there's one woman and two dudes like, you know, are you really going to worry about like cheating and stuff like just yeah. do what you, you got to do? Set up two compounds. This can totally be like big love, but yeah. reverse and she'll visit. And they like get a certain amount of, or whatever. And there's only two of them. Yeah. So they only got a splitter. I mean, like. You know, like one week, someone gets her for four. The other one gets her for three. Then you switch the next time. She They're gets both. four. The other one, three for the other They're one. Like handsome dudes too. I know. Right. Like this yeah, is- it's not like she got stuck with some disgusting old man. There's like two hot guys. It's not Paul yeah. Giamatti and Steve Buscemi. That would be a different movie. <laughs> oh, <right>? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, this is that too- would be where the creeper shows. Come on. Your mind goes weird I'm places. Just saying, Jax. They're very handsome dudes. Yeah. Yep. And uh, it's true. yeah, and they're both very good actors too. I'm excited mm-hmm. about both of them. Yeah, Margot Robbie. I'm not. I'm not sold on her quite no, yet, as, I'm not especially either. as a survival person. I mean, I feel yeah. like. I mean, I here. I just watched Focus a little bit on the plane with no sound when I was coming back from Taiwan. <laughs> this is um, like a theme with you. I'm always looking over at his computer and he's watching things without sound, but not like like sometimes it's like sports or whatever, so you don't need it. But other times it's like a trailer and it, there's no sound. Like, like I'm watching it for the cinematography. I don't need the sound. I like cinematography, and also it's, um, when I was just on like the plane, visually, it's just really interesting, and I just really think that if we could just watch things without so much noise in our life we just have a better understanding of what deaf people are going through which is I, I, which is weird because I told you I don't watch blind people shows so it's just like it's a weird little thing I only like deaf people no. um that's that's anyway, odd and, and weird point and of terrible the focus. but um yeah no but I was cause I was just I didn't want to really have to pay attention and you have the headphones on it's just an extra thing when you're on the plane so I was kind of reading and then looking up and watching the movie anyway. is focus the con man one yes yeah, yeah. just checking and, you know, she's fine in it, but not great. And, and, like, the whole time in the movie, she's, like, super glammed up. Right. And so my image of her is, like, of this, like, really well done hair. And I kind of saw her in this, and I was, I was it, it doesn't, I don't, I don't, she doesn't seem to me as a survivalist in right. some ways. Yeah. Some, somehow. No, I think I have trouble buying it, too. Also, because they don't make her look really in the face, at least, less glam in this no. than in anything yeah, else. Yeah, they should have, like, winners boned her. Right. Yes. Exactly. Which would have been fine. Yeah. Um, so, but she's I mean, more I flannel still... is what we're saying. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's totally what I'm saying. Exactly. She's Someone a bite like, head off a squirrel at some yeah. point. She does movie. hard labor outside, and like that's what her skin looks like. Like right, on. and you know for sure that girl shaving her armpits, which you know right. you're not doing if you're living by yourself. Yeah, in the no dudes like, or anything like that. I'm like, like your winter harvest is full on growing <laughs> out. You are not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and like her eyebrows are clearly waxed and beautiful, and I'm like, come on, let's just grow them out. Yeah. Meanwhile, so, like, Pine looks like a disaster. Like, yeah. I mean, he's still hot, but he's just, like... Yeah. And actually, and like and he's I been in the woods yeah. for years. Yeah. And so does 
I can't say his name. She would tell She would tell. He also does. I mean, he kind of shows up a little disheveled and yeah. I don't like, know. It's it. like It's like of course the guys can look disheveled, but heaven forbid the girl look yeah, disheveled. Exactly. Because, because people might not movie. see it if she doesn't look hot, you know. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I still I still kind of want to see it though. It well, looks yeah, I mean, intense. The trailer eh. started one way and I thought it was going to be one thing and then I was like by the end I was like, "Oh, that's uncomfortable." Like mm-hmm. I just uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen and yeah. it's going to be yeah. tough. You in danger, girl. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see. I guess there's a bit of ambivalence on that. Once again, we shall find out who is rewarded. The cynical one or the positive one? Non-cynical on the movie. One. Also, no indication what the hell the, the uh, title means in the trailer. I was oh, yeah, At no point no, was I like, uh, Should okay. we know what that means? Does, is that important? <clears throat> is that the guy? I don't, I don't it's know. the name of the book. <laughs> That is important. Here's what I think. This is like one of those things. I was thinking, remember when we were talking about remakes and how some people, some remakes are exactly the same and some are just like, yeah, we're going to take this title and make a different movie. Yeah. This is, I feel like, wait, I had a thought. Shoot. That this is a taking the title and making a different movie. Yeah. This is a taking the title and making a different movie. But I'm like, so what, you wanted 13 year old girls to watch this? I don't get it. It's the wrong target audience. Where's the audience for this? It's coming up. I don't don't know. And and I don't remember what Z for Zachariah, I don't know if it was, I don't remember what the point of that was either. Okay, well. It doesn't matter. So, uh, unlike Kristen asserted at the beginning of this conversation, we actually don't know a whole lot about this, despite her having read the book. (laughs) (laughs) We don't know the title's meaning. We can't even tell you why it's called what it's called. But we can tell you with the details here, that okay? some of us are excited. Yeah, don't sweat the devil's in the details. Come on. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. As they say. I don't I actually even know what that means. Me neither. I don't. No. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> clearly, clearly we're struggling. We've lost control of this one. Yeah. Oh, is it, is it time for Mr. Pratt? Is that where we're going? Are we in the Chris Pratt corner? I don't know. Oh, hold on. I don't want to skip anything. Well, why not? He's next on my list. All right. Going Chris in order. Pratt corner. Chris Pratt, he continues his uh, whirlwind his, tour of whirlwind joy and yeah. wonderfulness. Which we were it's saying the second is, summer in a row where he's everywhere. Yeah, he's everywhere. Because he's everywhere. <laughs> when I close my eyes, my eyes you're, uh, uh, I see. What's good? Anyway. Um, yes. and we were just pointing out earlier, as I said last week, you know, that, uh, that movie has basically just been like, we know Chris Pratt is our selling point. We're just going to use it. But Wes found an article earlier today that was like about, who's the other one? Bryce Dallas Howard or Jessica Yeah, Chastain. yeah, Bryce Dallas Howard. Bryce Dallas Howard. <laughs> I cannot tell them apart. And so I have no idea which one is in this movie. Sorry. Bryce Dallas Howard and how different the like press tour is for it. So like the article he saw was like, why Bryce Dallas Howard wore heels while yeah. filming Jurassic World. Uh, and like the picture of her is like, no. just like all boobs. It's just no. crazy side boob. I don't yeah. know what's going on. Yeah. It's kind of a weird thing. Yeah. And, and, the, and the title was like way too long to be a real title. Yeah. It was like <laughs> Bryce Dallas Howard explains to others why she wore heels during <laughs> the entirety of Jurassic World. Yeah, it was like, this is <laughs> this is too much. I was just like, what are we doing here? Yeah, and then meanwhile, then you found Chris Pratt um, singing on stage with uh, Jimmy, uh, Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. I was going to say Warren Buffett, and I was like, that would have been an interesting video. <laughs> that would have been even better. Also, yeah. What are they singing? Margaritaville, Margaritaville with Jimmy <laughs> Buffett on stage, which would have been, you know, fun oh, to see. God. Yeah, so it's a very different kind of press tour. Yeah, for but sure. uh, for us, what's probably most important is that he um, visited our man Graham Norton, Everyone's favorite. Everyone's oh. favorite British talk show. Yep. My only one I know. <laughs> okay, there's that as well. Um, and Graham Norton is just so fun, and like he always. I mean, everybody's always drinking when they're on his show, yeah. which always makes for uh, a good start. Good which is why the Mark Wahlberg one is like my favorite television thing that's ever happened ever. Have you seen it? I don't think I have. Which is what? Oh, Mark Wahlberg is on Graham Norton. He drinks way too much, right. and like nobody can tell a story or anything because he keeps interrupting and being just super obnoxious the oh, whole time. Oh. And it's but it's incredible. okay because the other the other person is Sarah Silverman. So I'm like, oh yeah, Sarah. Our- Silverman, she keeps uh, trying to tell stories and like he will not have it. He just keeps interrupting everything and they have but like no one gets upset about it. No one's like Well, I feel like Sarah Silverman maybe is a little annoyed, but yeah. I think they know it's good TV. Yeah, and yeah. like there's like a thing on Graham Norton where um 
Have you ever watched it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, he pulls like they have someone tell a story. And if the guest likes it, they stay. And if they don't, they pull the lever yeah. in there. You know, whatever. Yeah. And Mark Wahlberg just keeps pulling the lever on this poor girl trying to tell a story. And like she can't get a word out. And he like critique something about her. Right. To be like, fair, it is a terrible story. It is a terrible story. Ah, okay. And but I mean, anyway, but it is pretty funny and amazing. Yeah. Anyways, but. all that to say, Graham Norton, great. And people drink and they have fun. Um, and so Chris Pratt, Melissa McCarthy and jude law jude law jude law and, and that a british or irish guy i don't know i can't the think of his name is off something with a b yes yeah, i was gonna say it's got a b in it i'm sorry other guy who was on it he's probably famous sort of i know he I'm is. Sure he is um he's a presenter as they say there um but they're all on this thing and telling stories and so the headshot story that we have talked about before comes up except that we also get to see melissa mccarthy's headshots um which are just delightful, delightful. Um, right because she's like in character she thought it was a good idea to like come and like do part john bishop john bishop boom b good job well done Kristen. Well done. um but then also i think the best part of this well the two best parts of the are the only ways essex impression yeah and his chant <laughs> well, and also just the whole story he tells about. Right. So John Bishop, right before that, had told a story of how he was like a Hoover salesman and yeah. they did all these weird things. And then Chris Pratt basically had the exact same job, but the American yeah. version. <laughs> which, which is, is so funny. crazy. So he did not explaining it and you're like, yeah, they did the same thing. And the chant, which is like, you know, it has to be real because he like remembered it. And it's yeah. like, there's no way he's like pausing, trying to think of something funny yeah. to say. He's just like going, no, going, he, going. And he's like looking up, like recalling. Like as seeing all of the <laughs> I mean, just the whole story is funny. He's like, he had a bunch of delinquents on his staff, and no, they would like get arrested when they're supposed to be selling stuff. And nineteen, they, when he had his own business, which is insane. yeah, I'm like, <laughs> just just a funny story. And it, yeah. it, yeah, and then the just, chant, like the chant I mean, is there's no way for us to repeat it because it's so long and intricate and ends with like deuces, and it's amazing. Yeah, you guys. it is amazing. You should just obviously just, this is linked to on the blog. Yeah. Because obviously, because you have um, to see it, and then his impression, which is great, and Jude Law's like, "I love how you spent like six months here, and that's the one thing you take yeah. away from our." <laughs> this is a show. If you watch a lot of Hulu, you've probably seen commercials for it called "The Only right. Way Is Essex," and it's like one of those sort of trashy, like The Hills, and you know all those kinds of shows, and like Real Housewives, and calls yada, it the yada. Jersey Shore of yeah, um, Jersey yeah, Shore, I mean, all of that stuff, and I guess. This is what Chris Pratt got really into. But he, as such, he can nail the accent on it. And apparently yeah. he says, like, he's like, I can't really do accents, but I can do this one. This, this one. one. Yeah. And it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. It is. It's, uh, and as Norton, someone... Norton says to him, like, that'll never be useful, but it's really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, nice job. Don't ever do that. Yeah. Basically, it's like a really stupid time. human trick. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like, at a party, he's like, yeah, I want to see what I can do. That's a weird accent. Yeah. And it's it's great. It's so spot on. I was very impressed by it. Yeah. Um, fun fact, yesterday was the Jurassic World premiere in L.A., and I got a text message from our friend Cinnamon, and she, like, tends to coordinate cars for a lot of premieres, and so she coordinated the cars for uh, Anna Faris, Anna Faris, Anna Faris and uh, Chris Pratt and for several of the other stars and all that, and she was like, she texted me, she's like, oh, my God, I have Chris Pratt's home address. So I was like... That's amazing. And she took a picture on the red carpet from behind of Chris <laughs> Pratt. And um, so this means we'll be sending Laddie in the future to do Chris Pratt corners from Chris Pratt's actual <gasps> corner. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm and in then the Chris me Pratt from corner. jail. Yeah. <laughs> 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 worth it <laughs> totally, uh, totally. yeah no for the record if anyone out there is worried about it cinnamon did not give me no, chris pratt's yeah. address no, let's happen. not get cinnamon in trouble here she yeah. did not pass it on she just wanted me to know it was a thing that she had in her possession in order to arrange this for him but i think that's All a cool right. thing she is now presumably talked to chris pratt i don't know <sighs> so cool. maybe hugged maybe groped Cinnamon does that. She groping people. probably more than likely. I she probably groped Anna more than she groped Chris. That's Pratt true, realistically. Real. So you know that happened, and now we're like, that's a, that's a degree. It's a degree, yeah, and, and yet another degree we can add to our list of degrees. An unhelpful degree in the yes. scheme of things, but but you know. but still a degree nonetheless. Still so I'm gonna so, add it to the list. Yeah, I feel good about that. So Chris Pratt doing that, and also he and Steven Spielberg. 
uh, hosted, I you suppose, uh, Jurassic Park on NBC and like all the NBC channels the other night. It was like across the board. NBC was like, every channel we have is We're going to this. show Jurassic and it, Park. And they didn't cut anything. No. no they Usually didn't. when they show it on TV, they cut stuff. Yeah, no, I didn't even them. think about that, but that's true. Yeah. What do they I cut? Mean, like the, like the, you know, like for commercials. And stuff. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they cut, they cut off people's heads. It was like, all <laughs> I mean, like, I didn't know if it was cut. You know, no, I meant like, you know, they cut or... it down to like, it's like this film is yeah. formatted for your television. Yeah, yeah. yeah and blah, then blah, blah, they whatever. leave out things. But no, they played the entire, the entire, entire thing. And cool. in it was, all its magic. And it was pretty glorious. So Stephen kind of intros it. And then Chris Pratt is our host in the middle of it. And he just kind of is. Yeah, it gives I, a little, I mean, like, they essentially things. like got him up there and said, "Just say something," and yeah. he's like ridiculous and adorable. Yeah, yeah. And so at this one point, he's um, he's doing a we call he we call it his uh, sexy Ian Malcolm pose, and he has what he calls it. I think yeah. actually, he, is, you know when <laughs> Ian Malcolm's all laid up after he's yeah. been hurt, and yeah, he's kind of like lying there with his shirt unbuttoned, shirt and he's like all like, "Hey, girl," and Chris <laughs> Pratt kind of does it, and it is, I mm. mean. Uh, I don't even have words moment. of how amazing it is. We were just like, <gasps> and Corey and I are like Facebook at this point. We're like, oh my gosh, the yeah. sexy pose! And we're like freaking out. <laughs> and then of course, when the they're doing the field with the dinosaurs and things come in, and we're like, fun time, yep. the Gallimimuses. Yep, yeah, them too. It was great. Um, yeah, was yeah that famous. was a delightful. That was a good way to spend Friday night. You know, just mm-hmm. sitting there. Friday night. Facebook messaging over Jurassic Park while Chris Pratt does Ian Malcolm sexy poses. I mean, it really doesn't get and much better than that. And then Ian Malcolm does his Ian Malcolm sexy pose. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That happened. You know what I realized? Mm. Is that I think what I like so much about it is that it reminds me of Tom Hiddleston because he's a very long Jeff yeah, Goldblum yeah, is with like is. his long... Remember we always talk about like a lot of real estate. Hiddleston and his wandering hands? Yes. And so like whenever... <laughs> I realize maybe that should have a little bit of context. Uh, That's the story that we need to hear in the future. (laughs) Hiddleston and his wandering hands. Just they have very long limbs and they're lanky and like fluid and they walk with like gazelle like motions. And I just, Mm. they're like dancers and it's beautiful. Beautiful. I guess was my point. Yes. I just wanted to add that. Oh, I thought about that. That also Jeff Goldblum is like that. But yeah. also, that's maybe why I also like Jeff Goldblum. I'm like, maybe yeah. that's why. Or other way around. There now, are now, tons today, of reasons to love Jeff Goldblum. I just want to try. I mean, Very true. I don't have to find any. Here. And I'm also thankful because for month or weeks, I've been driving past this billboard on the freeway for apartments.com that has Jeff Goldblum's face, but it has a different person's name next to him. And so I'm like... It kept saying, like, Brian so-and-so. I'm like, but that guy looks like Jeff Goldblum. And I'm driving, and so I don't have time to, like, stare at it and try to figure out what's happening on the, the billboard. The internet. But now I realize that it's, it is him. So maybe Brian is just maybe someone Maybe that's the character in- name? I don't know. Does he have I still am name? unsure, but at least I know for sure that it's him endorsing this thing. Have you thing. seen these commercials? I haven't. Is oh, it like see, the he's just guy? back in America. Is he, is, he, is he doing like the Shatner thing in Priceline? Where he's I don't. I'm even really sure guy. what this website is for. Help you find apartments in like something about polygons. Something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, don't know, I don't know, but it's great. It's okay. anyway, I asked I on Facebook and on Twitter, BT Dubs, about people's favorite Jurassic Park moments, as in like scenes from the movies and things like that. And memories of experiencing Jurassic Park, um, which I think is is worth bringing up. Laddie, you bring up the Facebook. I'll bring up the Twitter, and we can we can talk about that. What? Bring up on Facebook the answers. Oh, and I'll look at the Twitter feed. Can I talk about mine real quick? Yeah, yes. tell us yours. Are... Please do. So mine is a memory, and it's a little bit sad, but I have to I have to go into it. So when when Jurassic Park came out in '93, I was like nine. I would have been nine years old, and um, my parents would not let me go. I think partially because I was a little bit young and also because I knew at the time I was in a very conservative church and so we knew that it had to do with evolution. It was pro evolutionary mm. And so there was some uh, difficulty with that. So I was not allowed to go see it, but I went and saw, so like I, I really was desperate to go see it. And like a month after it came out, uh, Free Willy came out and I <sighs> went and saw Free Willy, but we were in the theater right next door to Jurassic Park. And the sound effects were so loud in the next door theater that I could like hear the dinosaurs like moving <laughs> around and I could hear people like kind of like screaming and stuff in the next door theater. And I was so desperate to be there That's and so I sad. did not get to go. But I, eventually I did go see it in the theater when it did the 20th anniversary reboot or re-release. Um, I was I was in Beijing at the time and I had a lovely time there. But like my 
earliest memory of Jurassic Park mm-hmm. is just hearing the sound of it. In Did the you also the go like, to the movie next door to kind of relive that moment also? Yeah, just, that would have been amazing. No, he didn't actually go see 30 years of Dr- or 20 years of Jurassic Park. He just went and saw Free Willy again and like <laughs> played Jurassic Park on his phone. <laughs> I remember being so angry because I was like, I'm not a kid. I don't want to go see Free Willy. Free Willy is a kid's movie and I want to go see the Jurassic Park, yeah. which would have been cool. Eventually, I of course saw it on home video and watch it a yes, bajillion course. times. Yeah, I um, saw it on BTS. As you do. You do. I had that I experience it. with... Um, What's happening? On my Facebook. It should be like the first post. Oh, it's on your Facebook? Yes. Oh. Ha. Um, I had that experience, but with a goofier set of movies. Yeah. Um, I really wanted to see Operation Dumbo Drop. Yeah, and my did. grandma made us go see... Pin- uh, not Pinocchio. Um, Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Man, my brain. I was like, Pinocchio. Penelope. P- <laughs> no. Peace. Pocahontas. Yeah. Um, and I was very upset about that as well. And the entire movie, I just sat there like, Aww. this is this is for this is for babies. Right? I want to go see. I remember there was Operation a point in which I was like, no more Disney movies. Like, I'm yeah. too old for Disney movies. Yeah. Even though I like, then... when I watched them, I actually liked them. Oh, they're amazing. Like, of course. Of course. It was just not. I think Lion King was the last one. I was like, okay, I'm yeah. done going to see Disney movies. I'm too old for this now. Yeah. Now... Uh, on Twitter, amongst the responses, um, Hallie says, uh, in in terms of famous favorite uh, Jurassic Park moments, does anything with Jeff Goldblum count? Which I say <laughs> categorically, it does. Indeed. It absolutely I'm does. Not surprised by this answer. Um, Heather, our dear Heather Feather. Aw, Heather. Yep, she, she loses points. She says, every time a huge dinosaur sneaks up on people like they hadn't established the footsteps shake the ground and are audible in the rain. Heather, okay. A little suspension. You know what, Heather? You here. also ruined an instinct song for me. I will not have you ruin this <laughs> also. Fez, you're on notice. <laughs> There's Gosh. that. Bailey says, uh, waiting in line on her 16th birthday for Jurassic Park 3 and feeling like the movie was basically made to be my own present. It was. So oh. many people love that movie, and I'm just so confused by this. I'm I learning know. it more and more. Uh, I think if you were 16 at the time, it was like a perfect time to go see that movie, right? I was 16 at the were time, you? right? Okay. Mm, maybe Jurassic maybe Park 15. 3? Yeah. If it was this. Oh. Well, if you're 15, that's totally different than 16. So. Yeah, I mean. Something oh. like that. Um, although someone else said it, that it was at the same time as Fast and Furious, so maybe I was 14. Someone okay. in that general vicinity. But okay. I just remember being like, this is not good. Okay. Um, Adam Golub says water. And I assume, obviously, <laughs> we all know what that means. Uh, Noel Kirkpatrick, Kirkpatrick responded with an image of um, Julia. Oh, no, this is a different one. It's the, it's, it's the gold I swear pose. when I clicked this earlier, it was different. <laughs> he responded with the uh, sexy gold bloom pose. Yeah, he did. There we go. Oh, That's yes. Demonstrating. Right now. Go for it. Well, you got to undo a couple buttons there if you're going to do it right. Yeah. yeah. He already offered earlier. Um, oh, th- he sent another one. Then later he sent uh, Julianne Moore oh. on the like glass when it's going to break in, in the second oh, one in Lost yeah, World. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he says, and I ru- routinely tell myself not to go into the tall grass. Don't do it. So, mm. yeah, those are all those are all important things to note. What do we got on the Facebook? On the Facebook, we have uh, Julianne Rose. Rem- I remember watching the preview for the third Jurassic Park and being scared by 90 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's made fun of me. Oh. Okay, Julianne. Poor don't worry Jules. about it. Um, Tom, Tom Riggs said the sound design in the original Jurassic Park scared me pretty good the first time I saw it. Yep. Oh, right. Uh, that's um, what I remember from next door. That was, yeah, yeah, he knows. <laughs> See? He More knows. than anyone, Wes knows. More than anybody, scary we sound know how design. scary sounds are. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Alexander Montez said that, uh, one, this song total. Oh, wait, no, he's talking about that dumb video you posted. Hey, hold oh. on. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, his real moment was this. The moment when that brontosaurus stands on its hind legs to eat the leaves. Oh, yeah. That was um, great. And that tree and the theme song hits is on point and gets me every time. Yeah, and definitely one of those moments reminds me why I love film slash filmmaking slash storytelling. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's true across the board. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's Nobody else. wonder. Answered. I mean, that was really the kind of one of those moments that was just kind of a wonderful, like, whoa. Mm-hmm. And it made the dinosaurs feel real, right? Yeah. It's those little connecting them with other animals and like movements that looked real that mm-hmm. was uh, bringing to life i mean obviously as a kid i mean i i had memorized the names of countless dinosaurs you guys probably did too um mm-hmm. just tons you and tons, tons of knowledge and so like being able to see these things move around was just kind of incredible so. yeah 
we yeah. were saying, I think before too, it's like they, the actors just sold it because you, these people who's like their whole lives revolved around digging up dinosaurs and Alan Grant's face. And then he turns Ellie's face to look at yes. it. And both of them are just like, we're saying face acting on point in this part because <laughs> they're both just like, you think they're seeing dinosaurs eating leaves off a tree. Like, yeah. You totally believe them. It's really it's um, one of those things that like in my entire life I've never questioned they are actually seeing yeah. those dinosaurs there. It's, yeah. I just you, you know it. you know like in the Goonies how they talk about how when the the kids slid down into the tr- like the cave that mm-hmm. was the first time they saw the ship and so their reactions are their real reactions of like oh, that ship is there and it was like yeah. you know real time reactions where I feel like well, that's what's happening in here. It's like, they didn't see the dinosaurs, but yeah, this no, no. is their reaction when seeing, it's like real time, like little kid reactions of seeing it. Um, which I think was another thing about Jurassic Park where I'm like, this could be real. Like this science sounds pretty yeah. sound. This seems legit. <laughs> this seems legit. That you talking know? DNA molecule has some good <laughs> points. <laughs> He's got a thing or two to say about dinosaurs and I believe him. Dinosaur <laughs> DNA. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible accent, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. That's kind of our thing on here is terrible accents. Terrible accents. Yeah. yeah. Just offend everybody with our awful accents. Um, but what do you mean, stupid video I posted? Okay. I don't like it. What? Why? I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. Um, I don't like anything about it. I don't like the creepy faces. You know how I am about face switching. I don't that think it's true. natural or needed in any means. <laughs> it's always creepy, no matter what. Oh, man. Um, I don't. I guess it's supposed to be random. Is that like why there's gorillas and fighting and stuff? Like there's weird stuff in it. I don't know. To, to King Kong, right? They're yeah. Beginning to have the King Kong. Yeah. Broken Which because it has like the gate. I don't yeah. know. I just yeah. wasn't into it. And it mainly it's because of the face swapping. If I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> it's like and everything it's, else was. Shut it, when down the girl, by... the guy that's being Ellie, when she's like, her face is really scary because the eyes seem too big for the face. Right. And it's scary <laughs> and it's creepy and I don't like it. I don't, I just, I don't. Well, I don't in, in, like in your defense, I mean, the, the video is mostly face swapping. I mean, it's not like yeah. the face swapping is a minor element of no, the video. No, yeah, that's it's pretty like much what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is, you know, that's like his swap. point, yeah. which isn't my jam. So if people like face swapping, you should watch this video. You'll love it. Yeah. If you don't like face swapping. If you like those jib jab videos, you're going to. I like the random, I mean, it sort of reminds me of uh, like an airplane uh, police, uh, um, what is that called? Uh, naked gun sort of thing. Oh. Where just random jokes everywhere. Yeah. So they, like they show the egg hatching and then there's like eggs frying That's inside. And, and, and the yeah. velociraptor has a, you know, party balloon thing in its mind. Like that sort of like ridiculous, stupid silliness, mm-hmm. I sort of appreciate. So um, Also, the song was very catchy. It was a catchy song. I was into it. It's called Clever Girl. You can check it out on uh, on our blog and decide for yourself whether the face swapping is uh, artistically merited or a bad idea. It's an abomination is it's what it is. It's an abomination. It's very rarely that face swapping is artistically no, merited. I don't, I, think so. I don't think artistic <laughs> merit is really the central concern of this, this, uh, is, this piece. But. This Although is, yeah. apparently this guy goes to a Stan Winston school of character arts or someone. I feel like I've heard of that. But. That's apparently a thing, so okay. I don't know. I, I like don't know who Stan Winston that, is, but... I feel like that was something Tobias went to in Arrested Development. <laughs> <laughs> the Stan Winston School of yeah, Character that does Arts. Sound like, that does sound like a Tobias <laughs> thing. Um, there was... A, what was... Oh, but then... Okay, how about the Minions, though? The Minions were cute, That one was right? cute. They're yeah. always cute, though. I always think they're funny. I know. I, actually, I love their Tic Tac commercial. I could watch that on repeat. Yeah, I think the Minions movie looks very cute, too, and I will I that. agree. We were talking about it, like, being on the fence with it and then trying to decide whether or not we'd go. I think you and me? It's worth it. Yeah, yeah, I trust this conversation happened. I don't remember. Well, I but... sent you that list of movies we oh, should go okay, see this yeah, summer, yeah. and I was like, I'm kind of on the fence about Minions, and you're like, me too. Yeah, but now that they've released, like, longer trailers yeah, of it, it actually it looks quite entertaining. Okay. So I'm in for that. But there's a, a little clip of um of the minions watching jurassic park that's really cute yeah. mm-hmm. um, it's just like what like 20 seconds or something like that yeah 30 seconds. God, yeah something like that it's worth it you can see it on the blog and it's pretty adorable but i just i'm enjoying all of the sort of jurassic park nostalgia things and you know the fun people are having with jurassic park in light of jurassic world coming out and uh, it's just it's a nice time as a huge jp fan to get to experience all of this with everybody Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm excited about it. And then tomorrow, we get to see it. Yeah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And happening. tomorrow is the actual anniversary, the 30th anniversary. Or not 30th anniversary. What number is it? 25? 22. 22nd anniversary of the release. Mm-hmm. Ooh. June 11th. 11th. June 11th. Hey, June 11th. Uncle's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Uncle. Hey. There you go. That's good. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, we oh. just have one more thing to talk about then. Oh, we do. Uh, and that's uh, that's our girl, JK. This yeah, time JK. she's not entirely angry at me, but I am a little ambivalent about this. So I, That's uh, so funny. I almost typed to him, like, am I a bad American for, like, not caring? <laughs> oh. Well, it's okay. We all know. So what happened is uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where Beasts to Find and where Them. Find them. Uh, is going to have Newt Scamander consulting s- people who come from an American school of wizardry. Witchcraft and wizardry. Do they still Which call I, it that? I, just, I don't know. I don't know what we call it over here. Uh, but whatever the case may be. I actually did read, I haven't finished it, but I read like a very popular fanfic that's about like an American Hogwarts, essentially. Huh. Um so this is an idea that's been out there and so forth. But one of the things that, uh, I don't know how someone guessed this, but essentially that this American school is going to be based off of, like, um, indigenous culture. Like, it's grown out of, like, Native American magic. And we all know how I feel about indigenous things. That's kind of my bag. But I also feel weird about, like, white people writing indigenous things and making, like, the school based off of, like, ooh, indigenous Because then you get aloha. And, don't yeah, you? then you get aloha, happens. right? I'm like, will they cast any actual Native Americans in this? No, Emma eh, Stone's going to be everybody. Yeah, all of them. That's just, they're going to face swap her. To oh, no! Don't it. That's going to be how they do it, no. you know? It's going to be like that scene in, uh, which of the Harry Potters is it, where it's like all of them, it's Harry Potter, and he's wearing oh, everybody's yeah, in clothes. This, in the last one, or the first half of the last one. Yeah. Death um, Gallows, yeah. I was thinking, Death like, Gallows. being John Malkovich, they show yeah. up, and it's just all just Emma Stone. all of them. Yep, all Emma Stone in there. But... Yeah, so I don't know. I'm a little... At least this is one time where, like, JK adding something isn't just like, oh, you didn't know that from the book? Yeah. Hmm. I'm like, okay, this is a fine... that up yeah. from the no details you ever talked yeah. about, I mean? Yeah, you have to assume, like, that that yeah, since Durmstrang, right, exists, and yeah. since um, yeah. Madame... The French one. What's the French one? Yeah, Madame Max... Ma- whatever the one that Madame Maxime comes from. Yeah. Be- yeah. Uh, bat- Bo- Bo- so? Bobatons. Bobatons. Right? Oh. Yeah, no, or Bow Battens. Right? Bow Battens. I think, I think, I think that's how it, Dumbledore that's says how it. Bow Battens. Oh, Bow Battens. Yeah, so that exists. So, like, presumably, yeah, there probably are these schools everywhere. They don't just have wizards there. That's fine. I'm just like, I don't know what to make of this development of it being, like, based out of indigenous magic. I hope they do good things with that. And, like, it's an opportunity for, like, Native Americans to actually, like, exist, you know? Mm-hmm. And I also hope Adam Beach is in it. Because <laughs> Adam that's Beach. That's a hope for things. all movies for you, though, right? Yeah, it kind of is. Like that's a. That kind of goes. Adam well. Beach and Boo Boo Stewart. That's who I need to be in this. <gasps> oh my! Hey, and we're in luck because Boo Boo's gonna I be know, in Boo Boo's next Boo-Boo. month. I can't wait. Boom. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that's happening. Harry Potter fans. So we get excited. a we get a we get a school of wizardry. Whatever. Whatever. We're more excited about Wizarding World coming to know, Universal to Studios. Universal Studios LA. So this is that would be cool. Anyways. Hey-o. Good game, guys. Yeah. Great yeah. Good to talk today. Good game. It's been good. Having me, uh, hey, thanks for coming guest. back to America. So yeah. happy to do it for this we program. That was like, I was like, <laughs> when is it recording? Flight the I'll day before. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm like, every week? <laughs> yeah. Like, good, because I've been really wanting to watch Focus on Silent, so <laughs> make sure I can time my Thank flight. Goodness. Yeah, exactly. To... Thank goodness. Yeah, I've been meaning to do that. Uh, you know, and we'll probably force you to come back again, because you're here for... A month and a half. Yeah, I'm here for two months or so. Two yes. months-ish. Yeah, I'm happy yeah, to come back. So... It could be our third... Wheel? I was going to say that that sounded bad, so that's going to become a good third thing. Listen, I, I would say this is going to become Z for Zachariah, but I am Margot Robbie, right? Is that what happens? <laughs> oh my gosh, so. I'm Chris Pine in this scenario. I was like, wait, how come you're... Oh, because, okay, yeah, no, I, I just... Yeah. I used my reasoning skills, and I figured out how that worked. Uh, come on. Right. We still don't know what the title means, so it's, we don't know where it's going to happen. I have to... You've the read beer. the book, but we have no idea what happens here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't really know. I'm going to reread it because okay. I'm going to come back and be really, really, on really top. knowledgeable. I'd have to wax my eyebrows for this role, though, and I'm not sure I'm ready to do that. That's so. true. And shave your armpits and your legs and probably your other, you know, like your. I don't know. <gasps> well, okay. Oh, this has been uh, episode 66. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Of the electric fan cave on electricfeast.com. Um, you know, go ahead and subscribe to us on all the things iTunes, Stitcher, uh, YouTube, Twitter. Um, um, there's probably more. Wherever you can find us, if you see Electric Fan Cave listed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell all your friends. And don't forget, 
rate and review us. Mm. We love when you rate and review us and tell everyone how cool we are because that means more people can find us, which is awesome. And we can chat all the time. Ooh. So keep in touch, everybody. Uh, for this week, I'm Corrigan Vaughn. And I'm Kristen Latterow. And I have been Wesley Jacks. But not We'll continue to be <laughs> Wesley Jacks. I'm now Zachariah. Now- I don't know why, but I'm Zachariah. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Bye. There is no time like the present. Hang in there. Yes, you can make it. Oh, that's cute. What about Hannibal? And the first episode's free, just like all good drugs. And uh, <laughs> we then. I love that one. All right. Later. You know the number one chair in America is a lazy boy. Okay. <laughs> you can take that to the bank. <laughs> Also, both, fun like, fact. Is there more than that? Is that <laughs> never just stopping there. Okay, that's yeah, the whole cool. fact. Great. <laughs> you want to hear another fun fact? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, sure.